Hello, my name is Pat Mosier. I'm with the Art Committee of the Hedberg Public Library. Today I'm going to be speaking with Linda Davis, who is our artist for January. Welcome, Linda. Thank you so much, Pat. And it's so nice to meet you. It's delightful to meet you, too. And I can tell you're happy to be here. Oh, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm really looking forward to this. When I was reading your background information, I saw that you were interested in art from a very early age. I was. And would you say grade school? Yes. When uh, one of my mother's friends got Vogue magazine, and oh. she would give me the copies, and I would be sketching those models whenever <laughs> I had a free moment. That sounds like my grade school. <laughs> I would be sketching saints for the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that wonderful to have that uh, passion right away? It is, and I still love doing people. I do, too. Um, and then I read about how you took lessons at uh, the Art Institute. I, I did, not for that long, but I took the bus all the way downtown. I was in grade school, and I took a couple courses, uh, People in Their Clothes, and mm. uh, that was a lot of fun, too. Now, when you were there, were you taking a class in a gallery? Uh, no, in a, in a uh, studio room, but at the oh, Art they had Institute. A studio. Mm -hmm. I think when I was there one time, I saw a class. Now, yeah. they seemed to be sketching in a gallery. I well, they could know. be, but, they but this was in a classroom. Uh-huh. And, and what, it was for children. It was, oh, and what did you start with there? People? People in their clothes. People So in we their did clothes. research of uh, costumes and drew them, and, and it was oh. quite interesting. And then from there you took lessons from a woman named May? May Pipes. May mm -hmm. Pipes is a treasure, very extraordinary and eccentric. <laughs> she was, she had to be 90 years old when we started. Um, who knows? And uh, she had no children, but she directed Shakespeare professionally. She was uh, a watch repairer, an artist, and she taught piano. And oh. I did oil. We did oil. There were six of us, and it was for like four or five years. And uh, her, her thing was uh, to learn you copy the masters. Yes. And okay, that's what I was thinking about yeah. the Art Institute. Yeah, and that's what we did, copy the masters. Mm -hmm. I did one that uh, reminded me, and you might even know the name, of my father uh, in the little uh, soldier boy costume oh, yes. with the little hat. You know what, mm -hmm. I, what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And uh, I treasure that one. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, it just reminds me of my father. And it was your father. father. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Um, and then that medium you were using was oil at was that oil. time. Mm -hmm. uh, how long did you keep on with oil? After Miss Pipes, I stopped. Oh. I stopped. I had five children. And so I was, did I. Did you really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you know what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can't get in the flow at home. Mm -mm. It was impossible. And right. I found when we were at Miss Pipes, we, we, I didn't get in the flow for about an hour and then once everything started flowing nicely, you know, you're, you relaxed enough to paint. Right. When Bob was home on Saturdays, I would take off and do plain air oh, for wonderful. an afternoon yeah. with yeah. oil. And yeah. that was my getaway. How not, yes, and it's very relaxing. Yes, it yeah. was nice. Yeah. Now, oil you can do quite fast. Yes. And acrylic? Too, but you too know, fast. I, I find acrylic different to a mix. Don't you the, the colors? Yes, yes, uh, yes. And but the beauty of acrylic is you can water it down or yeah. or uh, saturate it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I was doing watercolor. I started back in when my uh, oh, let's see, when my youngest was in high school, mm. and I started taking. I've been taking lessons ever since, all mm -hmm. over. And when I moved to Janesville, of course, I found Marilyn Keating and Barb Matthews. Oh, yes. So I've been going there for a long, long time. A couple of very, very oh, talented Oh, my gosh, women. we are so lucky. Yes. Just like Miss Pipes, you know, you, I didn't appreciate what I had. Because while we were painting, 
she would be reciting poetry from memory. She would be talking about the artist. It, it was just wonderful. She was in her own world. She kind was. Of. She was. Yes. So, and then Marilyn Keating and Barb Matthews are, uh, you know. Yes, and I've seen their treasures. work for years now. Yeah. In yeah. the Janesville area. Yeah. And then I always found that I wasn't transparent enough for everybody in my watercolor. So I decided I was going to try acrylics. Mm -hmm. And because I like bright, bold, vibrant. Now, colors. in watercolor, you have to layer a lot. You do. If you want to get a bold, vibrant color. Yes. But sometimes I would try layering it with pastel if I wanted a really bright red or something. With the chalk? Yes. Yes, I uh, have discovered those a little. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm taking some of my watercolors and going over them oh. with uh, acrylic to pop them. Oh, good you know how idea. we have all those dogs, you know, in the box? Yes. The, the <laughs> ones that didn't turn out. Yes, so I do. I, so I'm playing with those. But uh, I have been taking now workshops with uh, Karen Rega. She's in Lake Mills. Mm. And it is all uh, acrylic abstracts. Oh. So it's, it's a, a real dichotomy because, of course, with uh, watercolor, it's compositional study, value study, um, and the color black wheel. against white, and the color wheel, and all that. When, when I first went to Karen Regis, it was called Lucy Goosey. <laughs> and uh, there's no, uh, no compositional studies, no uh, mm. value studies. You just get your paint out and let your little heart go wherever it wants to go. Oh. In fact, like the warm-up drills, we would, um, uh, one time we closed our eyes and just moved things. Another time you would do, pick a number from one to 10 and just put it on the paper and then open your eyes and develop that into a painting. Wow. And it, yeah, and it was so much fun. Was it really? Yes. Oh, that would yeah. scare me. <laughs> it, I, mean, I need a plan. <laughs> well, that is the big growth thing that I have had because I always painted with um, a photo or, or mm -hmm. maybe a still life, but something, d I knew where I was going. Right. And uh, with her, you, you did not. Oh, I you think let that's it develop it's... now, and it developed. I have, in fact, I brought one that I can oh, show you. I, I do want, and I saw the one in the uh, catalog. Yeah. From uh, the rap show. Okay, I brought that yes. one. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. No, I didn't. I brought another one. Well, this was a yellow acrylic. Yeah. Yes, I brought yes. another one. Um, yeah. Now, when I took from Robert Burridge, um, he was totally way out. Same idea. But he would take like, um, first of all, he painted mostly on canvas or canvas board. Mm -hmm. So he would take maybe six pieces, canvases in a row, and just start going like this. And mm -hmm. of course he had, he said, you never start a painting without no, having a, an idea in mind. So he painted mm -hmm. it in series. One, mm. of, one of his series was, he used to work in a circus when he was younger, and it was a circus thing. But as you saw him painting, and he actually would go with his hands and he'd move things. If he didn't like it, he'd just go like this. And you had no idea what it was going to be to the end. But in the end, uh, it, was, it was fabulous. Now, is that why you said you like to get your hands in it? Uh, yes. Did you try that? Oh, yeah. Oh. We did that in the class. But, okay, that even goes back to Miss Pipes because the first rule of oil color is you do not blend with your finger. Ah. Well, that was her rule. Ah. Well, when she wasn't looking, some of us would go in here and we'd blend, and she would always catch us, and we were grown women, and we would get a wrap on our knuckles. <laughs> and uh, so um, this was totally different. Well, it sounds a little like kindergarten. <laughs> yes, but, you know, I think the trend is going to more abstract and to the canvases, too. Because mm -hmm. so. the children... Uh, I, there were two groups. Mm -hmm. One would really love to get their hands in it, yeah. and the other group would say, "Oh, my mom's going to kill me." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. And you know, you know, of course, children's art is so natural, and uh, and uh, Picasso always went down to the kindergarten yeah. in his town to look yeah. at what they were doing. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Yes, I love to see the art in the Gazette of. of oh, all the I kids. do too. I think I, that's I, excellent. Oh. 
Oh, they are amazing. Just and amazing. I know some of the teachers yes. that I was in class yes. with. Yes, Art Week had, um, was asked to judge a couple of the shows, and, mm -hmm. and I did go to some of them, and I was so impressed. Yes, they are. Very, very good artists. And now, what do you mean by being tactile? Is that what we were just talking yes. about? Yes, yeah. I've Be using your hands more yes. and, and maybe other things or like texture. a piece of cloth, sometimes uh, a little ball of cotton. Yes, all those things. Right. Uh, do you ever use photos anymore? Well, I ha no, I haven't for a while, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes with a, a portrait, I did yeah. several years of portraits, Oh, I almost just have to have oh, one. Oh, you have to have one. Yes. I'm just talking for the abstracts. Okay. Yeah. But with an abstract, I, I just don't know where to begin. Where do I begin with an abstract? Well, uh, Robert Burridge would tell you. In fact, uh, we bought a little poster of his that, uh, and you know this too, there's about uh, maybe 12, um, you know, the golden rule of, you know, divide your paper in nine and pick Mm -hmm. Well, there's 12 layouts. That's the cruciform, uh, circles, uh, the C, the oh. S. So you, you kind of choose a shape. You can choose a shape. Now, yeah. would that shape go in all nine parts? Or no, G, no, maybe? no. no. Uh, to get your focal point, your center of interest, mm -hmm. you don't really, now I'm just repeating what I learned. Okay. Because, and I believe there's no really rules. I, I believe you have to know the rules, but you can break them. But anyway, to get your center of interest, rarely do you put it in the middle. Rarely. I can see that. Right. So uh, to find one is you take, in your mind, you divide your paper into nine squares, like, mm -hmm. and, you know, across, mm -hmm. and pick one of the crosses. Mm -hmm. Not the middle, but right. one of the, and that would be your focal point. Oh, okay. Um, I can remember one woman saying that her way of composition was like an open seashell. Yes. Uh, it's that, almost like a sea. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that was how, what lead you into the picture. Yes, exactly. Uh, so there are so many different ideas. Oh, I, there I are. I bet there are. Um, yeah. What kind of things do you use when you add collage? Oh, for collage? Um, I mean, you said you add collage to... Sometimes, yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, well, uh, Japanese paper. Oh. Uh, you can get textures with saran wrap or wax paper. Mm -hmm. um, with, um, let's see. Um, I've used cloth in a couple. Yeah, I bet that would be interesting, Thin too. scarves. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I have a silk scarf that I got uh, in China that's really thin. It was like a free thing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't throw it away because I thought, wouldn't this be cool in a picture? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or, but you don't use the heavy stuff like metal or... No. 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 I've never tried that. No, I haven't either. But I've cut out things from books and cut out yes. pieces of my old paintings. Yes. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yes. In fact, mm -hmm. I've been doing this now and I, I've been taking those old dogs and making greeting cards. Mm -hmm. So oh, you, and good they, idea. They are and I, I would embellish them with silver ink or gold ink mm -hmm. or, or um, marker. And um, so I gave them to all my friends. I depleted my whole box. So I'm back <laughs> making it, but what is really nice is it's very relaxing. Yes, and, and, you, and you're kind of free to do what you feel like, yeah. and it's small. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. You don't have to work a long time on it. Exactly. Now, what do you do to get into the flow? Say that you're home tomorrow when there's a blizzard. Uh -huh. now, how do you get into the flow? Well, first thing I do is I tell my husband I'm not home. <laughs> and then I go, I, I have set myself up into a, a spot where I have all my stuff, and I try not to be interrupted. Mm. And, you know, it, it comes easier now for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would really love to try the exercises and the uh, abstract. Yes. I'd love to try it, and yeah. I never have. Yeah. And uh, so... Maybe that's on my wish yeah. list. Yeah. Yes. A letter um, or a name or whatever. 
you know, just yeah. put it down there and then, and then uh, whatever you see in there. And then if you see something in your abstract, you actually can bring it out and make it uh, uh, a realistic abstract. Oh. Which gives it more interest than... Oh, well, let's look at one of your abstracts right now. Okay. Okay, what's the first thought that came to your mind to plan this? Well, it just sort of developed. This just started out as an abstract. And, uh, of course, you were talking about focal point. I would say that I is the focal point. And when you look at putting this in nine, it's right yeah, up at that it's, corner. It's up at the corner. Yeah, right. and... Uh, and then you have two other circles which kind of repeat the shape. Yeah, yeah. What is, is there a meaning? Well, the I call eye. it cosmic eggs. There is no meaning. Well, it's, it's whatever... Cosmic eggs. It's whatever meaning you want to give it. Well, that reminds me of planets. Yeah, it could be yes. planets or uh, I was thinking of cosmic soup or it could be anything that you want to be. Cosmic and soup. one of the reasons I bought this is when I had it in the show, this was the one everybody stood at. They didn't buy it. But they stood and looked at it, trying to decipher. Well, it has you know, beautiful what it colors. Is. It does. And the deciphering is is something that I always try to do too. I do too. I do too. So you I can't. Well, you know, when you do an abstract, I think the mind always wants to put meaning. Yes, to it. it does. I see a spider down there. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. And uh, I can go all over the place because <laughs> I'm looking for realism. Yes, you and are. that's not what I'm supposed to be doing with this kind of thing. Oh, I would love for you to keep looking at it. Oh, it doesn't matter <laughs> if you see realism in it either? Oh, no, that's good. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it, you know, the beauty of abstract, I think, is that it can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, okay. It could be a feeling. I like that idea. Yeah. I like that idea. In fact, I, I put a quote in one of them. I didn't bring, um, one of them that I'm going to hang is, um, and I don't remember who I'm quoting, but if, you know, if you want, if I paint, painted a fish with eyes and fins and all that, it would just be a fish. But if I painted a darting water and foam and froth and, uh, it would be, you would have the feeling of the exciting. fish more than that's Just a fish. Just the fish. It would create an atmosphere or a feeling mm -hmm. of movement. Right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get interested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's right. see the next one. Okay. Um, I would say this is, I like bright colors. Yes. And this is bright colors. Now, what's in here, I don't know. I ended up calling it abstract, red abstracts. <laughs> is it acrylic? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is acrylic. And um, and you started because it was bright colors, or? No. How, how, did, oh, you, how okay. did you begin this? I started it, okay. Um, actually, you could you just use three colors if you wanted to. So, mm -hmm. first of all, we put matte medium under underneath. Oh, this is okay. on Fabriano um, hot press. Okay. Oh. And I put matte medium on it. And then you just start throwing yellow. And then I use a um, scrapers and uh, rollers and mm. to get a texture. So you Rire, can see a lot rares. of texture. Yeah. Um, just uh, all kinds of tools that we pick up mm -hmm. here and there, you know. Could be and any. so there isn't really a subject. There is it's no subject. And then the next step oh, would so be hard. is you go with the red. I think yes, the red you did. or the blue. Yeah. And the red comes and, out in these little yes, shapes. Yes, and then you could take alcohol. No, yeah, alcohol, and you could rub the red off so then the yellow comes through. Oh. And then uh, you do the same thing with this. You And uh, I see the little squares repeating themselves mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah. And then, of course, your final one was blue, which makes green, mm -hmm. you know. And so all the colors were mixed right on the, on the board. Oh. And you started with the bright ones, and then you went to the blue. I started with the primaries. 
So okay. first yellow, and yes. then I did red, and red. then blue. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got green, and how I got orange, and uh, I may have put a little uh, dark blue or black in here. I don't know. No, does remember. this remind you of anything? No. Uh, it just excitement. Okay, I see a piece up there. It looks like the turtle shell, and <laughs> I just <laughs> I just have to find try to yeah. find it looking like something. That's my problem with it. But this is beautiful. Thank you. I love the colors. I do too. And, and that darkness there uh, mm -hmm. really brings out the others. Yeah, that uh, it's dark my mood. husband's favorite painting. Is it really? Yes. Uh, I can believe it. My son in in like uh, in uh, Las Vegas, I sent oh. him um, uh, photos of this one and the yellow one, and he said, "I want you to paint me one." Oh. And I said, no, 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 just take it, just take it. So oh. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sort of, you know, it's sort of hard well, to paint. You can have prints made. I can, that's a good idea. Yeah. I, yeah, and they look like real. Good yes, idea. Yes, they do. Yeah. I have yeah. given a lot of prints to my yeah. family. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Because I think my husband wants this one. Well, sure. <laughs> and it looks nice in my house. This is definitely flowers. This is definitely t spring tulips. Oh. And, um, but again, the bright colors. Yes, very bright. Yeah. And in the background, you can see the uh, pussy willows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the little daffodils. Mm -hmm. I could probably work on those a little better, but yeah, so. That's nice. Um, and yeah. yet, you're right, it's not quite as interesting in a way. Yes. Because it's realism and everybody knows what it is. Yeah. Well, I hope to make it interesting, a little more well, interesting. Well, it is. It's beautiful. Because, but because it's, it's a close-up. Yes. Definitely is. Yeah. And um, I think you've just sold me on trying it. Try it. <laughs> I'm you going will love to it. try it. Abstract. Yeah. 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 You will love it. I think I will. Yeah. And if you want to take a class, I've got the person. For you, oh, who? Karen Regas and Lake Mills. She's oh. uh, she's how uh, I got started. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to have any previous experience. Okay. Just go in. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it has been great talking to you. Well, thank you. It's been great talking to you and too. And you are going to have a lovely show in January. I am looking forward to it. And people, be sure and come to the show at Hedberg in January because you will get to see more of this fantastic work. Thank you and so thank much. Thank you so much, Linda, for coming. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you, Pat.